welcome back for another episode of Ask Starbase. I'm Athena, and today's episode is brought to us from Bellflower at Discovery. They want to know, how does evolution happen? That's an awesome question. What do we know about evolution? Hmm. Evolution is when a mutation occurs that becomes common in the species where it starts. Instead of a mutation that happens to just one plant or one creature or germ, many of them gain the mutation and it is passed on to the next generation. This happens because we inherit these mutations in our genes, the blueprint of a living thing. In the cells are chromosomes, which is this twisty picture we see all the time when people talk about DNA. Those twisty parts are chains of gene segments. A segment is made up of many genes in an order broken down even further into the specific nucleotides that give the directions. And the nucleotide is a chain of sugar and phosphates holding together the bases. Adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. Thymine and adenine are always together, and guanine and cytosine are always together. The pattern is then read like a sentence, and if the pair of nucleotides flips around, the sentence is different. There is now a variant, a mutation. The evolutionary mutation can happen to animals, plants, and germs because of insertion of information, adding an extra toes, such as Hemingway or polydactyl cats, the deletion of information, color of eyes or lack of pigmentation, or substitution, color of flowers. The differences in appearances, such as thickness of fur or fruit skin, height, skin color, even sounds of voices and animal sounds, are mutations that help living things survive better in their environment. While we think of evolution as something that happens over a long stretch of time, it can be something that happens in a season as well. One recent example of evolution can be seen in hospitals and doctor's offices. Some bacteria, called microbes, that are found during infections have become resistant to treatment with antibiotics, such as one known as MRSA or a superbug. These microbes are easy to transmit and hard to treat. Both the flu and COVID can have multiple variants being treated at the same time, because these viruses can mutate more than once in the same year. When vaccines are released, they may be stronger against different variants of the viruses. Another example of evolution seen every year occurs just after a popular Thanksgiving parade during the annual dog show. Hundreds of dogs compete from many different breeds in a bunch of categories. There were two new breeds accepted for the 2022 AKC and Westminster Championships, the Moody and the Russian Toy. In the United States, our oldest purebred dog registry is the AKC, the American Kennel Club, and it lists 199 breeds as of January 2022. The different breeds we have can all trace their beginnings back to the gray wolf. Check out Volcanoes as Starbase episode 131 on animal crossbreeds for more information. Humans can speed up the process of evolution by choosing traits we want to see in our pets and even our plants. The slower process that occurs without human intervention is called natural selection. Charles Darwin proposed the idea that living things change because of their environments due to mutations that help them survive. Those that do not survive will not pass on the old genetic material. This may lead to an extinction of a species if none of the varieties can mutate to survive. In this way, a mutation can happen in many species at the same time because of a large natural event such as an ice age or meteor crashing to earth. Or one species can change at a time due to a local event, such as a new predator or prey, or an environmental issue, such as a storm or volcano. Evolution is awesome because it can be slow to see or happen in the blink of an eye, and it can affect one species or whole geographical area. The nature of nature is to change and adapt. What will the future bring? Stay curious and find out. If you have any more questions, please submit them to us at ask at starbase-ct.com or at our website at www.starbase-ct.com. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Ask Starbase. I'm Athena, and I'll see you again soon.